What's happening guys, Mike Moo here, and this is a quick little video about fixing the validating software license loop with Adobe CC Creative Cloud. So uh, this description here, and I'll have it linked down below, shows you exactly what's happening. I have a uh, license to all of Adobe Creative Cloud, and uh, whenever I try to load something, this is what happens. It says validating software licenses. This was working for a long time and I don't know what happened. All of a sudden it started doing it. So it pretty much matches exactly what happens here. So you see, it says it was trying to validate my license. Nothing happens. It goes away, it starts again. And basically it keeps doing this endlessly and I never, I'm never able to get into my Adobe Premiere or Lightroom. This just happened to seemingly just completely out of the blue. I'm not sure exactly why. So, uh, you know, I, I did a lot of different things and testing with uh, whether or not my antivirus or uh, firewall was blocking any of it. So basically this doesn't fix anything. I've tried all the, th all the steps involving removing, repairing the Creative Cloud desktop application, and that really didn't do anything either. In fact, if anything, uh, sometimes when it first loads, it'll show that I have a valid license it goes away for a little while um, and then basically now it says that now i'm all, all on a trial and I, I checked everything so i came across this link and it's going to be linked down below about what to do about this and it came up with this answer where i had to i had to basically fix the uh some sort of configuration error with adobe creative cloud or adobe creative suite so how to do that is actually on that separate link and I'm doing this via Windows, but they have, um, they have, I, I didn't have this problem with Mac at all ever, but you know, this, this will vary. Uh, I'll have this link down below as well. So let you know about exactly what you have to do over here and the different steps you need to involve. Basically, we got to navigate over to the uh, location here, Program Data Adobe SL Store. That's where we need to go to on a Windows PC. So for Windows 64-bit, which is most, most of us, we actually have to go down to C and then uh, Program. Um, well, actually go to the View and do as they suggest and show hidden items. So click on View, show hidden items. Also change it to show file extensions. That's also very useful. I, I had actually done a repair before on my desktop and that kind of removes those things. But th those are the things you got to do in order to find these files. So I'm going to go to program data, uh, double click that, get into it, and then go into um, Adobe SL, Adobe and SL store. So this is what was advised. You can see, uh, look at license information, zero kilobytes, and I got all these other things going on here. So apparently it tried to do an, a bunch of different things and it was advised that I just simply delete these files from the validating software license. Delete the SL store and Adobe PCD folders. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, go in there and delete those files from SL store. Just completely delete it. You know, and, and if you're worried about some of these things not working, um, well, it looks like the LC2 license was was is still on. That's because I gotta I gotta close out all the Adobe stuff. So I'm gonna close that. It's gonna try that again, and that should delete it. And if it still doesn't, usually I'd have to do a reboot or an unlock um, to get those things out of the way. I'm gonna do a Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, and shut off anything that is Adobe related that might still be using that. So I'm gonna go ahead and find this remove all the adobe stuff right now the adobe genuine software stuff i'm going to end all these tasks here to make sure none of that is um is interfering okay so i got all these things from trying to do and trying to uh just simply load my adobe premiere and it, this also affected all my other adobe products as well as you can see it all switched me over as if i didn't have any licenses for any adobe stuff so i'm doing these all one by one uh, as you can see, there's a lot of things that are that Adobe needs in order to uh, operate, which is a little bit annoying, which is fine since I have, uh, you know, the maximum amount of RAM that I can put on my Samsung notebook anyway. Okay, so that looks like it did, I did most of it, uh, if not all of it. If it's not all of it, I'll come right back in here by doing Control-Delete again, 
I try that again. Okay, good. So that's got that's that's completely done. And it also claims that I should do the Adobe PCD folders. So I need to find out where the Adobe PCD. And since I'm running Windows, you know, latest version of uh, Windows 64-bit, um, just about everybody is. I'm going to go ahead and find those in the program file. So I'm going to open up Windows Explorer, go over to my program files folder and common files and uh, Adobe and Adobe PCD and also delete all these as well. All right. So after I delete those, these permissions uh, should already be set. I didn't have any problems with the permissions in the security tab. So I'm actually going to skip that on here, especially since I know everything was working before. Um, now I just need to restart my Adobe CC desktop. And here we go. I'm going to I'm going to restart that now. Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop Services. If you don't have that on there, uh, I find it kind of strange on my Mac. If you don't have it on there, you can actually just go ahead and download that specifically from Adobe uh, separately. So um, for whatever reason, if you didn't have it, you might have just downloaded some sort of trial application for whatever reason it didn't it didn't um, actually install. You can actually go to Adobe.com directly and download that. It basically uh, helps you with the licensing and also the installation and management of all, all the different um, of, of all the different Adobe CC suite applications. OK, so now, um, as you can see, now things look a little bit different. So it looks like things are repaired now. Instead of saying start trial or expired, uh, now it says it's up to date and it now validates to open. So um, it did all the validation checks and licensing checks. Now I should be able to click on open or um, and then now it should load. So that's how you fix that uh, that loop. And, uh, you know, this actually took me a little while to find. Strangely enough, uh, it all comes down to knowing what to search for uh, in Google or Adobe uh, help forums. You can also try to do the same thing by contacting Adobe support. I find that they are actually pretty good and helpful. But, um, you know, if this is the specific issue that you are receiving, that is exactly how you go ahead and fix that problem. Um, it'll probably take a little while to load my Adobe thing. And as you can see, it'll, it'll repopulate my Adobe SL, SL store stuff. And uh, things should be um, pretty good to go. If I need to repair this now, now the licensing issue is repaired. What I might need to do is actually now just repair my Adobe Premiere uh, CC because, because of all the weird things that I, I did with it. But as you can see, now it's not a licensing issue. Now it comes down to um, reinstalling Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. OK, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. And I'm going to get over to my video editing now. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.